Good morning, brothers and sisters. Okay, with all the gloom and doom, this is going to put a smile on your face, a very big smile on your face. I just want you to listen to three minutes of this. This is a Bible Prophecy Update. This is Pastor J.D. Farag from Hawaii. And uh, he does these Bible Prophecy Updates each week. Um, I usually listen to him. I've been subbed to him for several years. Um, he has quite a following now. He's very, very popular now. And uh, he's a good person to, li to listen to. And he really keeps up with the current events, with what's going on in Bible prophecy. So let's get going. Let's watch the three minutes. This is very encouraging. You're going to shout hallelujah. If you want to go home as bad as I do, you're going to shout hallelujah. If you want to see souls saved, listen to this. Here we go. I've got the captions on for those that can't hear very well like me. Okay. Barry sends the, this email out, and it's a prophetic word. I want to quote it from 1986 by David Wilkerson. He says, quote, I see a plague coming on the world, and the bars and church and government will shut down. The plague will hit New York City and shake it like it has never been shaken. The plague is going to force prayerless believers into radical prayer and into their Bibles. Glory to God. And repentance will be the cry from the man of God in the pulpit. Amen. And out of it will come a third great awakening that will sweep America and the world. Praise God. I would submit that this prophetic word is coming to pass. And we are seeing what I would argue may be the last great awakening. Just yesterday, I received an email from our hey, listen to this. <laughs> missionary leader, Pat Pereira. She leads our global media outreach ministry. We have a lot of online missionaries, as we affectionately refer to them, who uh, respond to, minister to, disciple online people who go to a website searching and make a decision on that website, a decision for Jesus Christ. So she sends me an email just yesterday and says, exciting news. People are seeking the Lord in record numbers. Over the past week, there have been many days of over 500,000 gospel visits per day. Half a million. Media outreach website. Wow. 500,000 per day all over the world. And you have to understand, in the uttermost parts of the earth, they have phones, mobile devices and they can access, and that's where we're seeing numbers like this. The numbers are off the charts. Okay, I'm going to halt it there. I'm going to leave the link to his video if you'd like to go watch the whole thing. He does do great Bible prophecy updates. Okay, listen to that, guys. Over half a million people, oh, gospel visits per day, per day. Oh, my gosh. How many million is that a week? I can't add very well. How many million is that a week? Over half a million visits per day to the outreach website. Glory to God. He said it's just off the charts. You guys, this is awesome news. Rejoice over this. Rejoice over this. The, when the last Gentile comes in, then we're going to get to go home. Okay, just pray that people turn to the Lord. Continue to pray that people turn to the Lord and cry out to the Lord. 
Uh, there's one chapter in Psalms that says like four times in it. I marked them once. It says the people cried out to the Lord in their distress and he helped them um, and they were saved. And just continue to pray that, you know, this revival will explode. This is just phenomenal news. I mean, I knew some of it was happening, you know. I knew some, were, some revival was going on. But this is huge. Over half a million a day. These people are hurting. They are crying to the Lord in their distress. They're seeking Jesus. Now is the time to do whatever you can to reach out. I went to the grocery store today and I scattered, of course, with my mask and my gloves. <laughs> Those masks are so hot. Those are a hateful thing. You could hardly breathe in them. So I was like running through the store. <laughs> I was like running to the store so I could hurry up and get out of there so I could take that thing off. But I left a trail of Bible tracks in my wake and I put my sign up on my car. You know, do whatever you can to reach out to people. You want to go home? Then preach the gospel. You want, you want the rapture to happen? Then preach the gospel. Okay, because it's all about the Lord drawing that last Gentile into the kingdom. And then we can go home, you know. So um, keep reaching out to people. Keep reaching out. This is just awesome. I could just dance around this room. <laughs> it's so wonderful. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. God bless you. Keep looking up. Our redemption draws nigh. Hallelujah.